Hey everybody, Matthew Frey. I want to talk today about why I think the notion of don't sweat the small stuff is shitty, unhelpful relationship advice. Um, today is April 13th, 2022 at the time of this recording. And so very recently, The Atlantic shared an excerpt from the book where it was largely focused on the post that you may or may not be familiar with that I wrote in 2016 called She Divorced Me Because I Left Dishes by the Sink. And this particular excerpt from my new book, This Is How Your Marriage Ends, I sh talk about, you know, the, the concept of She Divorced Me Because I Left Dishes by the Sink in, in the book in a section. And I sort of like reframed and rewrote that post and hopefully made it better um, because I don't really like the original very much, particularly six years later. Um, but what happens inevitably when, when this post gets shared, it was a super viral thing back in 2016, millions and millions of readers. It's the only time I've ever had that. And it introduces a bunch of people who know nothing about me and don't have any frame of reference for the kind of things that I talk about to believe, I think that literally, literally dishes, this, this concept of, of a dish sitting by the sink was at the epicenter of the conflict between my ex-wife and I, and, and ultimately determined, you know, her decision to, to exit the marriage, which is ludicrous by virtually everybody's standards. And I have a hard time believing that anybody can, can believe that. Um, but I do believe strongly that this, this notion of the dish sitting by the sink serves as a wonderful metaphor for a conversation around what's allowed to matter to somebody. You know, she cares about this thing I think is stupid, small, inconsequential. And, and our disagreement about what's important versus what's not important informs another human about the degree to which they can trust us in our relationships. I think that's a really, really important idea that I think a lot of people miss. While we're busy debating, you know, whether Chris Rock or Will Smith was more right or more wrong in the infamous Oscar slap incident. Whether I was, you know, my opinion that the dish isn't that big of a deal versus my, my former spouse's opinion that it was, is a big deal. That it's not useful to get hung up on that idea. But a lot of people come back inevitably. There's a, there's a lot of people, often men, but not always. And they say, don't sweat the small stuff. That is a little thing that isn't a big deal. And successful relationships are predicated on two people learning how to ignore the shit that doesn't matter very much. And... I think that's like swell. I think that's a great notion. The problem is we don't define small stuff the same way. My potential romantic partner and I, your potential romantic partner and you will not agree on what presents small versus what's actually a big deal. So don't sweat the small stuff is bullshit. And let's talk a little bit more about it. My friend Leslie Dorries, a longtime therapist, marriage counselor, um, sort of taught me this idea that we can objectively, scientifically observe that it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit. We can have 10 different thermometers measuring air temp and determining that it's 65 degrees. And everybody will agree, factually speaking, that that's true. But where human beings will disagree in their subjective experience is whether 65 degrees is a relatively warm or relatively cool temperature. Whether it's a comfortable temperature to be outside in shorts and a t-shirt versus a temperature where it's not to that. And I, to, to me, 65 degrees is such a, a valuable thought exercise for learning how to consider someone else's experience in your relationship. And so is a dish by the sink. And so is the position of the toilet seat. And so is a piece of laundry in the bedroom furniture. And so is uh, any number of things we might be able to come up with that feel like small, petty disagreements in adult relationships. Don't sweat the small stuff is nonsense. See, we absolutely have to quote unquote set the small stuff. If you win the, the personality type lottery and someone else exactly defines what is a big deal versus a small deal in your shared lives together in your household, that's amazing. That's two people that are totally unified and they're probably not gonna have an enormous amount of conflict in the relationship and I think that's great. But the truth is the vast majority of us end up with somebody that doesn't have identical thoughts and feelings as us and it is precisely our blindness to how they experience the world differently than us that 
causes all of the disharmony in our shared lives. And, you know, go ahead and apply this to every single like conflict that exists in the world between people that have different cultural experiences and religious beliefs and skin color and all sorts of things where people find themselves on opposite sides of an issue. And, and if you boil it all down, it's because we have different subjective experiences than them and, and one or both of us chooses not to respect it. And it's bullshit. It's, 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 it's a choice that we're allowed to make. I don't think it necessarily makes us evil. I don't think it necessarily makes us bad. But I absolutely believe the math result of that philosophy and that behavior will result in trust erosion and potentially hurt feelings and a negative experience for somebody else. And they're not going to want to be with us anymore. And so, again, we get to live however we want. You get to live however you want. It doesn't make you good, bad, right or wrong. That's not what my work's about. My work is about learning how to calculate specifically for the experiences someone else has and small things absolutely in your relationship are going to be, I think, what, what sneaks up on you, what slowly erodes trust over 5, 10, 15, 20 years in a relationship. So anyway, food for thought, please consider it. I believe if there's a lot of conflict in your relationship, it's most likely because of the so-called small things. And discounting the other human just because they think something is a big deal that you don't think is, is exactly the disconnection point and the trust erosion point in your relationship. And we can do something about it. Um, if you want to talk more about this, please visit MatthewFray.com. Please check out my book, This Is How Your Marriage Ends, A Hopeful Approach to Saving Relationships. You can follow me on all the social channels and I'll love it very much. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye.